Hi everybody, this is Mark, and today I'm going to be looking at the game Portal 2 for use as an educational game. Portal 2 is a popular first-person puzzle platform game released by Valve Corporation in April of 2011 for Windows, OS X, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. Sequel to the original Portal, the game series is directed toward a large range of players from young to old and casual to hardcore gamers. Being more of a puzzle game, the one that can have some very complex tasks to figure out, this is what allows it to be open to so many types of people. So a brief description of the, of the game objectives and the and mechanics. The game itself comes in a couple different flavors. First is the main story, which involves a player character named Chell, who is the protagonist from the original Portal. And she's waking up from suspended animation to find the facility that she was in in Portal 1 is falling apart around her. Uh, this facility was used by a group called Aperture Science in conducting experiments on people to see how they managed to get through dangerous test chambers, which were essentially obstacle courses. Uh, when waking up, the player is introduced to a cheeky, I guess is the best way to describe it, AI personality named Wheatley and uh, they interact together throughout the story. And to aid the player is something called a portal gun, which is the main component of the game. And it allows the player to open a portal on certain surfaces in the game and another portal on a second surface. The player could then enter one side of the portal, which immediately causes them to transport to the second portal. This is extremely important in trying to maneuver your way through the various puzzles throughout the game. There are also numerous game obstacles ranging from moving platforms to dangerous lasers, catapults, or aerial faith plates, as they like to call it in-game, and different substances that have a range of special effects on the player. Uh, the second flavor is a cooperative mode in which you and your partner play as a pair of robots, attempting to navigate similar hazards together as in the single-player version, but in this case you actually have to rely on one another to be able to get to your end objective. And the third version is just plain community-made chambers for the fun of it, as there's a whole library of them that people in the community have made, and they come in all shapes, all sizes, from easy to very difficult. So where does the learning happen, and what kind of learning happens? depends on the subject you want to teach. The learning might happen in various places. For something like language arts, learners can learn how to create engaging dialogue and intriguing characters by making observation of the characters within the main story. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry about that, I just, that just slipped out. On the other hand, for something like learning physics or logic, it might be best to see an actual demo of it in action from a custom-made test chamber. So here I have a little chamber here that, uh, I made specifically for this demo. It's got a few things that we could actually uh, see some physics in action with. So over here we can actually describe physics in terms of friction, overcoming static and kinetic friction. You can see the right at which it falls based on the different angles. Over here, this is just a really quick run through, we can see the idea of terminal velocity. You can see that it starts off slow, and then it's going faster and faster and faster, but it gets to a point where it just won't go anymore because it reaches its terminal velocity where the air friction causes it to not go any faster. And what's this thing here? I don't know. Let's take a look. Oh, hello. Oop. Well, what could we possibly learn from that? Maybe something to do with projectile motion? What's this thing over here? Didn't quite want to do that. Let's fix that real quick. This, we can demonstrate 
Oscillation. Gradually gets lower over time because of gravity, air friction. And it just keeps getting lower and lower. Students could graph the action of this to, to, to see oscillation. And then, of course, we can always demonstrate new flaws. An object stays in motion until acted on by an external force. Sorry about that. There you go. Bye. Those are some of the things in physics that we can learn. I also mentioned logic. Logic gates are a very important part of, of Portal 2. So we've got you know, our AND gates. Both buttons have to be down for it to work. We have a NOT gate. It's actually going right now. But we can NOT on to actually work. Of course, we have four gates, but only one or the other has to be on to actually work. It doesn't have to be both. And of course, we can even deal with other subjects such as refraction. can even learn that high-intensity lasers will hurt you. So that's a uh, rough overview of just a few things that you can actually learn in Portal. The game has many strengths, one being that it's fun. The characters in the storyline are engaging, the environments are extremely interactive, and you have the ability to explore and interact with the environment in a number of different ways. And being the game revolves around puzzles, it promotes learners to think critically and consider what they have learned about the physics and logic and other subjects to figure out the test chambers. Also, being the game has collaborative chambers means that learners can also work together to explore the topic and to try to apply the understand their understanding together to get to a common goal. To truly make it more educationally focused, it will require a teacher to build themselves scenarios for their students to use. This is fairly simple to do with the tools provided with the game, but still time consuming. Though there is a workshop with community-made test chambers, but few of, few of those are meant for educational purposes. There's also a web page called Teach with Portals that offers educational lesson plans for Portal 2, but again, the library there is still quite limited. Well, there's my intro to Portal 2 as an educational game. Hope you enjoyed watching. Dave Johnson, we're done here. <laughs>